I'll be ranked until Battle Athletes Victory Restart Episode 6. I'll be watching it from Funimation's website, and I'll be starting my reaction in 1-0 go. Alright. Oh man, I always love that cool, badass looking Funimation logo. Oh, okay, seems like something dice is gonna- okay, never mind. <clears throat> I thought for a second something just suggested was happening. And my laptop's acting like a bitch, this one. I'll fix it when it's the opening, though. I really love how the episode shows our girl actually working towards keeping in shape with those push-ups. I dig it! That seems like something our girl could actually benefit from. Considering she's always in constant shape, and considering her back running handling potatoes. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I mean, not that I dislike Eva. I mean, the one of the previous episodes did show off that there's more to her than meets the eye, and I did like how she helped out that detective, don't get me wrong, but I'm running for our girl Kanata to win, though. Well, I mean, considering some of the shit she's figured out, it looks like she's having doubts in what she's doing. I'm sure there's more, there's gonna be about some nefarious purpose to this other than wanting to reward her, though. Hmm. One of us a legit reward, or is something else completely uncomforting? Wait, there's a clone? I'm assuming this has got all the athletic abilities, but none of them have this personality. This motherfucker! Yo, you know which chick got Cipher Halloween, someone as poised as Eva's looking scared. And now I'll fix the timer. There you go. Yeah, for some reason, when I was pressing this earlier, it was frozen. Thankfully, though, animes have openings, because if it didn't have an opening, I would be fucked. Thankfully, though, it seemed to be like uh, that in this instance, uh, Lady Luck was on my side, because usually Lady Luck is against me, for some reason. So for some reason, it hates on anime cavemen. I don't know why. I guess it's just my luck. It just ain't there sometimes. The only thing I can do is just make a deal with the luck I am given. You know, even though the animation for the opening is pretty atrocious as far as anime opening standards go, I like the uh, music of the opening. Because you can tell at least the singer, even though the animators don't try their best, at least the singer and the voice actors in this series actually give a shit. Can't say the same for everything else involving this series, but I think that matters for something, because at least it gives the series some redeeming qualities. I do hope that the next this episode ends up being good, because the previous one wasn't that bad. <clears throat> so I hope the improvement that the series seemingly has got so far is linear, but not before the decisive the match. I like how dramatic the title is. I can dig it. Hmm. <clears throat> I mean, considering everything that's happened, I wouldn't blame it for- Oh! <laughs> I'm assuming she's not gonna use that gun to harm her friend, though. But she might use that gun to protect someone eventually, though. That's gonna be my gut feeling. You still should back the fuck up from trying to infect Yana's mind, if you ask me. That's enough pick was so cheesy when she was landing. Hmm. I'm sure it's more than just that, though. Oh, 
I don't think you can call Yana lucky though, considering the responsibility on her shoulders. Um, you know what? I'll... I hope Yana gives Lucy, Lucy a talk because she needs to calm the fuck down. I can't understand why she wouldn't be inclined to talking back to Yusi though. Considering that she keeps on guilt tripping Yana. <clears throat> oh, and the way she said that confidently kind of has me worried. I hope Yana was just acting there. They kind of will, though. They'll look at the connections between Lydia and Yana, and they'll be like, Yana wouldn't likely have a purpose of killing Lydia. So I don't think, uh, I don't think what Lucy is saying has much basis. Unless she can, Yana can make it look like an accident, but she ain't gonna want to do her friend Lydia dirty. They bonded way too much. They've been through way too much. For all you have to want to harm her friend, you know? And that's my gut feeling, though. You know, I like the music playing in the background. I know how girls always working hard, so it always puts a smile to my face. I'm like, yes! At least we're not using speed lines this time. Whoa! It sounds like the kangaroo's up for a blow, it's like, George! Pushing our girl to the limits. You know, if I were her, I'd be scared of fucking being alone with that kangaroo. Shit. Kangaroo looks so fucking scary and badass, too. Hope she can win it, though, because I do want to see if at least lose once. Hmm. That information is common knowledge, though, yeah. Why wouldn't you know? Damn, our boy just got away with words. I mean, he ain't wrong. I mean, there is such a thing as over extending your joints. I do hope a girl is by those words, though. <clears throat> oh. Aww. You can tell it really wants our girl to win. That's fucking adorable. Hmm. I hope this time they actually show the race, but knowing the series is probably going to skip most of it because that's how the series has been handling everything half-assed. Except for everything involving Jeff. Everything involving Jeff has been fucking good. But he's not a main character though, so. So those moments are too far and few in between if you ask me. No oh, shit. It makes sense of all the time Yana and Lydia have been together. It makes sense to be able to notice every single little difference. I like the way she does her fingers like this when she's like, if anything happened. Oh! Jeez! 
days. Aww. And it's a shame because Lydia, like the, she works so hard to open herself up to someone else. Okay, I gotta admit, that scene was pretty damn fucking good. Okay, I'll get to see his credit. The conflict that Yana has to deal with is actually interesting in on itself, too. And I do like how here you always see all the hard work she only has to go through before every single race. Hmm. Still, though, she doesn't want to... Yeah, exactly. Her joints are going to be fucking giving her a killing. Now, yeah, she's young, but I still think she shouldn't risk it regardless. But I can understand Kanata's perspective, though. But they're tough ladies, though. I think they'll be able to do things well. Hmm. Aww. Hmm. Hmm. Jeez, talk about putting a lot of responsibility on a girl's shoulders. But you know what? I dig this though. Because now this ain't like all the other matches. Now she has to fucking win. No, oh, I lost. I got second. No, it has to be a assured victory. And I like this. Because some of the other races in this series didn't really, um, or I should say games, didn't really have much. Emotional weight, probably due to the bad animation. And probably due to none of them were like a must win, where this one actually is must win. Hmm. Oh. I think just performing on the race could cause Eva's memories of her to trigger back to normal. Or at least a semblance of normality considering the circumstances. And you know, Potato Girl is actually a really damn fitting name for a girl. And it's actually a pretty damn cute nickname, too. Hmm. <clears throat> I actually can't wait to see what Pagula is going to do next. Because I've been liking... Even though she hasn't been given... Okay, I mentioned last week was pretty fucking bad. You can even see the rain land on their bodies. It is nice to get to see at least... Um, the scenes with Pagula advance the narrative just a little bit more. of her doing her investigations on Eva. Damn, she already figured out all the information that Jeff currently has on her. And that's without her not being directly involved in the case. That's pretty damn impressive. Aww. Hey, you know that goes perfectly what Kanata said earlier about her own past for a bit. That would be some creepy ass ramifications if all that were the case. I wonder what's got Poliga scared though. I do look out of here, it's giving us a chance that I have my loose because. She looks psychologically taken aback because performers, they don't just need to be physically ready, they have to be mentally and emotionally ready sometimes too. The replacement is going to be there. Yeah, we all know what he implied with the way, with that scene there. We all know. Hmm. Hey, saving the best for last. 
All I'm saying that they're really into these recap sequences. We know all this information about all our girls. I do like the whole unleash your natural potato power, but come on. It feels like the series and stuff with the bad animation is treating their audiences like dumbasses. That really hurts me a bit, actually. Talk about the lack of respect for an audience. That's cute. And I like how it says to hear you a voice. I like how it has like a bit of country Saxon there. I think that's really adorable. And with the subtitles too. I mean, you know what to say when there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> I like how he not expressively vague just to tease our girl. Man, that's cute. I don't think it does have any right of talking about prickly things, though. I'm just saying. Kanata, you are needy. You're the one that needs to be waking up, girl. Come on! Don't deny the truth, not to say that isn't part of her charm because it is part of Kanata's charm because it shows you how much she cares. <laughs> I hope Olivia has a plan though because I don't... This feels like it could be stupid if she doesn't have a plan or protection. <laughs> hope Olivia sent the information to authorities or something before talking to have as a handler because if not this will be completely fucking stupid. But I'm assuming Poliga is smart, so. Sure it is. Sure, and the way this guy's lying between his teeth. Ugly is more of a guy that has to do with the slave colony. Using slaves to achieve victory. I think that's even more pathetic. Yo, know, believe you're a badass. <clears throat> I mean, it can give her some proof, for one. Well, yeah, I mean, most of his abilities. She's like it, but most of it are in his inner intelligence. And I do like how this scene. Oh! Okay. Hmm. Makes sense. Hmm. Oh, shit! Honestly. Fuck was Poliga not gonna expect this? Oh, I thought for a second she might have told Jeff or the authorities or someone. So she actually went to this conversation having zero plan. Are you fucking kidding me? What type of fucking script is this? Okay, well, the script is bullshit. And that has a fucking plot hole. You would think Poliga, being a hacker, being book smart, I thought for a second she might have had, I don't know, Jeff, cop, someone? She literally went there without protection. Oh man, you cannot make this shit up. Right when I thought this, uh, this um, series was on a high note, it just finds a way of just fucking crashing and burning. You know, that kangaroo represents my thoughts in the, as an audience member. I, I mean, I'm fucking heated and angry. I expected nothing from this series. And it finds new ways to disappoint me each and every single new episode. Hmm. 
Hmm. I like how our hands are also motion like a gun shooting motion too. Hmm. Oh, still. Oh, okay, so I guess there's some animation now. You see, in one of the girls, you see the hair moving on the Donald side, but you don't see the ponytail move. So the animation is still stiff as fuck. Hey, at least they're not doing the anime, and they're not also running that some enemies do to save costs, so. I guess there's that. And that's about it, though. Not much positive I can say about this. The animation is atrocious. Hmm. Oh! Hmm. I want to say accident, but more of an emotional turmoil scenario right now. Hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, Vladis ain't just about physicality. <clears throat> It's also about the emotional mental state, too. Hmm. <clears throat> but can she really honestly be happy with herself, though? What if you still try to find a way of manipulating the death of Lydia, though? That's the issue. Seems like there's a trap. <clears throat> this is exciting. No, it isn't. Makes sense if Yana doesn't want to do anything, Yusuf's just going to take matters into her own hands. You know, at this rate, she's going to have to kill Yusuf. It's either choosing between Lydia or Yusuf. And I think Yana might actually choose to protect Lydia because it's like Lucille is too much of a loose cannon. There is just no fucking way that anything involving that woman's gonna be peaceful. I mean, those thoughts have to be completely, literally discarded. Now, and saying that this episode is absolute fucking dog shit. Oh fuck. Oh man. I could have actually been reacting to. I don't know why I chose to react to this series first instead of reacting to Dragon Goes, Home, Moriarty, The Patriot, or Forever My Dear Kramer. I have to honestly question my decision making abilities in this case. I'm gonna give this episode a 3 out of 10. It was horseshit. For one, it's like L Pelagia drinks stupid juice. How in the fuck? She's dealing with the. She's dealing with a man that deals with a slave colony. She really thought that man wasn't going to have a security force behind him? Are you fucking kidding me? Like, I'm just watching the series casually, and that's the first thing that pops into my mind. Now, Poliga, a woman who's well-studied, who's been through a lot, doesn't have enough conscience to realize, oh, maybe I should have... Uh, to progress my negotiating leverage, maybe I should have um, um, think this through. No, none of that shit happens. And instead, she gets kidnapped like a complete and utter dumbass. It's fucking stupid. And then that isn't even the most offensive thing in this piece of shit episode. Another offensive thing is the horrid animation quality. Part of the emphasis on the series is the athletics. I mean, for fuck's sake, it's called. Battle Athletes, Victor Restart. And we're already in episode fucking six. And none of the athletic shit looks good. The point of, uh, of animes involving athletics is to see beautiful looking athletics. If you don't see beautiful looking athletics, what the fuck is the point? So obviously the animators failed utterly in this episode. It wasn't the worst looking episode in the series. Which is sad that a bad episode in this series isn't the worst looking episode in this series. 
But you know what? It's the character assassination of Poliga that really made this episode bad for me. That's what really fucked it up. That's what I thought this episode was an utter piece of shit. And then aside from that, I mean, there were positives. You do see Yana conflicted about what she's going to do with Lydia. And you see you still take matters into her own hands. So I love scenes like that. It makes things in the narrative feel fucking tense. And... I guess that small scene with Jeff talking to Kanata was nice. But damn. The, those things are not enough to make the athletic boring sequences are animated like dog shit and ain't enough to make those sequences entertaining and the not shit ain't enough to make up for the fact that the episode was fucking boring because again the lack of effort from the animators and the lack of good writing and yeah the only good thing is voice performances but that's about it that's the only compliment I'll give this piece of shit episode but other than that yeah it's a trash episode I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 10 and yes I'll react to the next episode because I'm curious to see how this piece of shit train wreck is going to end. I don't expect anything from it, but damn. I'm still disappointed. But anyways, y'all. This is my thoughts on the episode. Love to hear your thoughts on how I feel about my reaction in the comment section below. Hope you'll rate the bit, share, comment, or subscribe. And I'll see y'all later if you come back for more. But anyways, y'all. Thank you so much for watching my video. And I'm testing to everyone. Bye-bye.